so my attic fan went out. Uh, I didn't film removing it, but here's the old uh, motor that went out last summer. And uh, so I decided to replace it. Went to Home Depot and bought one of these, a PBM 105, the only thing they had in stock. Um, got it swapped out. Uh, anyway, the shaft on this was longer than the one that I bought. This is about an inch longer than the shaft on the new one. So if you're replacing these, make sure your shaft length is about the same because your fan may hit the motor. Uh, what I had to do was reverse the fan on the shaft to make sure it didn't hit and then do some modification to the fins to make sure it wasn't dragging and hitting this. And so that'd be one thing I'd look out for. But, um, anyway, and then I'll show you how to put the new one back in. All right, so I wanted to check this motor. Pretty sure it's bad. So I wired in my cheater cord here. I'm gonna plug it in. Nothing. Is dead. I'm afraid to touch it in case it's uh, internally shorted. But yep, it's dead. We're gonna replace it. All right, so now we're gonna take the strap off of the uh, motor. Now that we've removed it, and that is a five eighths socket. One screw, pulls it out. I'm hoping this fits. All right. So now we got to put the fan blade back on here. Well, there's the uh, Allen that locks it down. There's a the flat side. Ooh, that shaft is not going to be long enough. Ooh, that is close. So I'm going to tighten up the Allen wrench driver in a put the fan upside down because the shaft wasn't long enough so and I bent the blades just a little bit to give me some clearance so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put that into a extension cord and uh, make sure the fans running and it's not hitting anything and we don't damage something before we actually install it and and I got my extension cord here and I'm gonna plug it in that way I can plug it and unplug it just wanted to make sure it spins without hitting anything, which it looked like it will. So let's see what happens. All right, looks like it works. So here's the attic fan. I got to remove these bolts. I've already removed, removed some of them and they go all the way around. And once we remove them, then this will pop off and this, that'll expose the, uh, expose the hole. All right, so that exposes the opening. So then those attach here, here, and here. That's just gonna drop down in there and uh, We'll screw it down and then we'll put the cover back on. Drop this down in there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Son of a bitch. Alright, putting this in. This has to go on there too. Like this that holds the cover on too. So that goes in there. Go at the bottom, so there's only three of these that go in.
snug that down, turn that up, that'll fall into a little crease. So now we got it installed. Let's make sure it doesn't hit nothing. You can see there, screw. So now all we have to do is put the top back on, which connects to all the ring here. Let me get there by my screws and we'll do that. All right, so now we're gonna put the cover on. So now I got it back on. I never could find the other screws. So I got six of them on, I'm missing two. Or I got four of them on, missing two. So I'll have to find those later and put them back. Let's go in the attic and uh, check out what it looks like underneath. All right, so I got it installed. This is what it looks like from underneath. I'm just gonna wire into here. So I'm just gonna put that in line with my thermostat. I've got another attic fan down on the other end of the house. And I'm gonna put, and it's all gonna run off this one thermostat so they both come on and off at the same time and one's not fighting the other so I'm gonna wire that up electricity's off at the moment safety first and I'm wire that up and then I'm gonna make it hot and uh, we'll adjust the thermostat so we can get this thing to power on power's hot right now it's set on 120 and we're gonna run it down to about 90 there it goes it's running sounds good no clanging no banging no hitting it's all missing. I'm gonna set it about 110. Set it about 110, it should be ready to go. Uh, that concludes this video. Hope you learned something. Thanks.